Well, good afternoon and welcome to the christening and launching of the vehicle passenger ferry Long Island. Yeah. I want to thank each and every one of you for being in attendance to support this event and to support our company. This is a great milestone for all stakeholders involved, and your presence here today makes the event even more special and memorable. The Long Island is a 303-foot vehicle passenger ferry being built for our longtime customer, McAllister Towing and Transportation. This vessel is a modernized version of the two previous ferries built by Eastern for McAllister, the P.T. Barnum, delivered in 1999, and the Grand Republic, delivered in 2003. The Long Island is the third ferry and the 16th vessel we have built for the McAllister family over the past 25 plus years. The partnership forged between our two family-owned companies is truly historic and has made an indelible mark on our great nation's maritime community. On behalf of the Discernia family and all the employees here at ESG, I would like to sincerely thank the McAllister family for once again entrusting us with the task of building this beautiful vessel. Special thanks go out to the McAllister Construction Support Team, headed up by Mr. Jake Jacobson. Jake and his team have worked shoulder to shoulder with us to make today possible, and we cannot thank them enough. I would also like to thank John Gilbert and his team at Gilbert Associates for designing yet another beautiful ship for us to build. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank the men and women of Eastern Shipbuilding who have worked tirelessly building this vessel in the face of significant supply chain challenges. Once again, you have stepped up to the plate and delivered on your promises in the face of adversity. You have represented our company very well, and for that I am sincerely thankful. Please join me in a round of applause for all the folks that have played a part in making today possible. Joining me on the podium today is Mr. Buckley McAllister, CEO and Chairman of McAllister Towing and Transportation, as well as the ship sponsor, his beautiful mother, Mrs. Rosemary McAllister. Yeah. Also joining me is my father and founder of Eastern Shipbuilding Group, Mr. Brian Discernia. And we have Father Thomas Cannell of St. John's Catholic Church. He's with us today uh, to bless the vessel. And now I'd like to hand the mic over to the ship's sponsor, Mrs. Rosemary McAllister, for her remarks. Thank you. On days like this, Boats get named for a variety of reasons. Sometimes vessels take the name of beloved historic boats, such as the Grand Republic or the QE2. At other times, people who have made a significant contribution to the development of a company are named. Thus, the P.T. Barnum joined our fleet. Another way this has been done is to name a boat after a popular destination. Does anybody remember the Catskill or the Martha's Vineyard? I remember my father taking us on those ferries when we were in school. It's entirely possible that a handsome ferry boat captain named Brian, unknown to us at that time, was at the wheel in that decade. For today, that's how we will name our technologically superior, architecturally spectacular boat. Long Island, New York has always been our company's most popular destination. It is not only home to the majority of our passengers, it is also home to most of our beloved employees. Long Island, New York is the gateway to Atlantic beaches for all of New England. A ride on the Long Island will promise an adventure to an exciting destination and safe passage home for years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. McAllister. Uh, McAllister Towing and Transportation is one of the oldest family-owned and operated maritime companies in the USA. Uh, this particular vessel it will be operated by the uh, Bridgeport Port Jefferson Steamboat Company, 
uh, which is a subsidiary of McAllister. That particular company has been uh, in existence since 1883, I believe, which is incredible. Uh, but McAllister Towing and Transportation, the parent company, uh, has, has been a family-owned company since 1864. Uh, truly, truly an amazing legacy. Uh, today we have uh, our next speaker, uh, Mr. Buckley McAllister, represents the fifth generation to lead this company. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Buckley McAllister. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming out here today uh, and uh, gathering to christen this vessel. The maritime domain can be a challenging domain, and I think it's very important to take this moment to pray for this vessel, her passengers, and her crew. May they sail many, many years safely. We're very proud to mark our 160th year in business with this amazing technologically advanced vessel. It can carry 1,000 passengers and 120 cars. It has low emissions tier four engines that will help us reduce our carbon footprint. It's got all John Deere generators, uh, a, a wonderful Lystritz elevator to assist our passengers with disabilities, and Carl Center gears. It's really wonderful to see all the children who are here today and to think about the future generations that will be served by this vessel. And I'm very proud uh, to be working with generational families who have committed years uh, of serving the maritime industry and helping make it possible to build such a beautiful and technically adv advanced vessel. Uh, we're joined here by John Gilbert, Jr., whose father designed this first vessel, or the first version of this vessel, with my father. Uh, and of course, the second and third generations of the Discernier family working here in this shipyard. We're also joined by the third generation of the Center family, who has worked with my family on dozens of vessels over the years. Uh, we couldn't be more proud to be able to work with all of you. Thank you very much for all of your efforts, and thank you very much for this beautiful vessel. Thank you, Buckley. Uh, now, Father Kennel of St. John's Church will bless the vessel. Father. Thanks, Joey. Brothers and sisters, let us listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus got into a boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. And so we ask this same Lord now to extend his blessing upon this vessel. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord, upon our supplications, and with your holy hand, bless this ship and all who will sail in it, as you once blessed Noah's Ark in the flood. Stretch out your right hand, Lord, as you extended it to blessed Peter when he walked upon the sea. Send your holy angel from heaven to deliver and guard this ship and all aboard it from every danger. Repelling all adversity, protect your servants with peaceful voyage and good harbor. And when all their tasks have been well completed, call them back in due time to their own home with all happiness, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Yes. 
All right, thank you very much, Father Kennel. Uh, and now the moment you've all been uh, waiting for, uh, the ship sponsor, Mrs. Rosemary McAllister, uh, will christen the vessel uh, before she is introduced to the sea for the first time. God bless this ship and all that sail on her. That worked well. <laughs> Perfect. What a swing, huh? Let's give her another one. Rosemary, congratulations. As the ship sponsor, you are a permanent member of the crew. Um, very big responsibility. I know it's one that you will uh, excel at. And. Uh, You'll take it here. That's right. So, congratulations once again. All right, now, now we'll turn uh, the operation over to the ESG launch team. Uh, shouldn't take very long. Uh, so, get your cameras out, get a good uh, viewing area, and uh, get ready for the show. Thank you all very much uh, for being out here with us to celebrate this day.